The search for classroom space continues in the Hazelton Area School District. Here to talk about this important matter is District Superintendent Brian Uplinger. Mr. Uplinger, I know this is really an ongoing process for years that the board and the school district has had to deal with. And so right now you're hoping to have a public hearing so that the public can come in and weigh in on this as well. Right, absolutely. Uh, we're not sure exactly what date that will be, but yeah, absolutely the, the, the public will, will have the opportunity to come in and, and talk to the board, give their opinion on what they think should or shouldn't happen within the district, and then we can, we can better gauge what direction we're going to take. Now, some of the things that you're looking at, I guess, that are kind of etched in stone at this point, you're looking to uh, get space from the libraries. So tell us a little bit about that. Right. The, we're not shutting the libraries down. Uh, contrary to some beliefs in, in, uh, on social media uh, that we're shutting all the libraries down in the district and kids aren't going to be able to read, they're not going to have any books any longer. No, that's not true. Uh, we're looking at the option, the possibility of utilizing space within the libraries uh, across the district that could produce 12 additional classrooms. Uh, certainly only, a, again, it's only a Band-Aid uh, to help the situation that we're facing right now, but it's another option. Um, and it, it will give us, in addition to the pools that we've uh, converted into classrooms, that gives us roughly 29 classrooms, which is basically a small building, mm -hmm. um, for less than $10, $10 million. Uh, so it's very um, efficient and effective way of using, using the space that's available to us. But like you said, it is just a Band-Aid because the numbers keep going up, and does the trend seem like it's going to continue? The trend is definitely continuing. Uh, we're, we're we're, even now, we're seeing uh, continued enrollment uh, across the district in all grade levels, uh, which, again, and I've said this a thousand times, I'll say it again, is okay. We'll take the students. Uh, we just need to find space, uh, and we want to make sure that everybody's coming to us legally, so they need to have all their paperwork ready and, and application process ready uh, to go once they come to us. Right now, you said we're growing so much, we're surpassing other cities. So tell us a little bit about that. Right, we are. Uh, PDE is projected that within 10 years, we might see 12,500 students. We're already at 11,600 students, 11,700 students. Um, we're looking to surpass Reading. We're looking to surpass Scranton. Um, the larger cities, uh, we're going to be very close to number one soon. Uh, I believe in the state right now, we're a number, uh, number five uh, largest school district in the state. And you have to keep your doors open so the people keep coming in, but will the state help to finance any of this? I mean, is there other resources that you can turn to to help find classroom space or build classroom space? Right. Well, we're hopeful. Uh, we, we have uh, reached out to uh, Secretary of Education Pedro Rivera. Uh, we've reached out to our Congress um, people, uh, our representatives, have had conversations with them. Um, the to, to explain the situation that we're in. Uh, so we're hopeful that we're able to, to acquire a little bit more funding that, that will assist us in this, in this process. All righty. Well, we will have much more on this with the superintendent in the days and weeks to come. And for the public meeting when that is held, they will come in like they do for a school board meeting. They'll have five minutes to speak? Yes, correct. We'll follow the policy. Uh, they have five minutes to speak. Um, and typically what we'll, we do is we, we limit it to uh, the one topic. If, if a, a number of people are going to come up and talk about the same thing, we, we don't permit that as part of the policy. However, during this type of situation, we may. It, it all depends on what the board's direction will be in that situation. All righty. Superintendent of Schools for the Hazelton Area School District, Brian Uplinger, come back and keep us up to date on what's happening. Most definitely. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Lisa. The building program will be discussed this Tuesday at 6 p.m. at the Hazelton Area Career Center.